Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to Children of Morta, where today we're gonna play as John, I believe his name is. Yeah, John. All right, sure. I want to play as Linda, but like I said in the previous episode, I believe uh, everyone has those like family runes or whatever they are that bust all family members. So we gotta help. We gotta get John some levels. Okay, we need to give him so uh, we gotta get him to four so we can get what? Increase the max health of all family members. Seems really, really, really good. Anyway, hey John. I remember his stuff from the uh from the tutorial. I remember I was like in the tutorial I was fine with it. Now I'm just like why do you have to stand right next to the explosive? plant but yeah in the tutorial i was fine with it because i didn't i didn't know there was anything else i'm gonna get hit by something but once i played as linda now i'm like how can i ever play as john again because linda just is so much better i don't know it'll take some getting used to you know what just do that oh jesus there's one little one come on i wonder if they're what is that temporarily increased rage gain it's a charm. Charms are magical objects found in the land of Morta. Each one of them has a special effect that can be activated by pressing down. So they're an active item. Wait, they're consumed after being active or after being activated. You can only carry one charm. So it's an active item that uh, is only have one time use. Temporarily increase rage gain. I don't really know what rage is still. I'll be honest with you. Like, I still don't really know what Rage does. Also, there's some health back there I might have missed. Did the chest give me health? Maybe. I hate the bats. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll get the health. I hate the melee. That's it. Oh, the chest did give me health. Oh, that was a good, like, regular chest. Give me an... Well, not an item, but a crest. All right, skill point. I can't see anything. What is that? It's another crest. Gain the effect of a random obelisk of Morta. I might as well just use it now. Also, I want to do this real quick. Skills. You take damage when blocked by my shield. This does more damage. But it needs to. Sure, this seems fine. I'll use it now. Obelisk of Endurance. Damage is reduced. And this one increases my rage, or I get rage faster. I got hit. Also, what has popped up? Actually, okay. What is that? What is this? Why is there like a glyph on the floor? Oh, come on. What do I do with it? What is this thing? Is there anything I can do? No, that's dodge. I just accidentally used my glyph. Yeah, I still don't know what rage really does, I'll be honest with you. Speaking of which, can you show me an item? What's over here? Come on, what was... <sighs> I hate this AOE and how it doesn't really like to aim. Come on. Come on, keep the kill chain going. Keep it going. All right, good. 20. I got 20 gold for killing, I think, 29 enemies. And there's another obelisk in here. All right. Sure. Why not use it? While I'm out here, why not use it? Please. Okay, his AoE is not bad. It seems like his AoE is doing more damage than... What's her name? Linda's AoE? Maybe? I don't know. I don't like him. He only has one dodge. And then he has to regen his dodge. Not sure I'm liking it. Kind of like Linda more. 
That is a mermaid, I think. I remember seeing you when I was playing as Linda. Oh, jeez. And his sword's like... I think I'll be hitting it. Like hitting an enemy. And then I just won't be hitting it at all. I don't know. I kind of hate this kind of mechanic where it's like, you have... Well, you don't have to, I assume. I could just play as Linda and only Linda. Or obviously other characters once I... You, come on. Really? I didn't even hit the other skeleton. But yeah, I kind of hate these mechanics where it's like, oh, you want to unlock that thing? You have to play as this character, whether you like that character or not. And I do want to unlock these special... There was nothing in that. Oh, what is this? Increases luck. I honestly don't know what the point of luck is. Excuse me. I'm stuck. Yeah, I still have no idea what this does. Oh, well. Can't open that chest. There's nothing around here, I think. Can I open that? No, nothing's in that. Can I do anything with this, by the way? Like, when I see the mermaid... Also, some money's here. When I see the mermaid, can I, like, hop in? Alright. Second floor. What you got for me? What is that? Damages enemies on contact. So that means if I just walk through an enemy, I'll damage them? If so, that's pretty good, because I like to walk through enemies a lot. Well, we might as well test it. Excuse me, I'm stuck. Come on, one of these has to be, like, pulling something out on me. Yeah, it seems like they're not. All right, hello. Enemies? Oh, that seems good. Yeah, this seems really good. Helps out my playstyle too. Please. Stay away. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm taking so... I hate these... I hate this. Fine. You know what? There we go. How's that? And I have health here, too. What is this? It's a charm. Increased maximum health at the expense of decreased primary damage? That sounds awful. Like, I'll do less damage? Why would I ever want that? Oh, that was a good block. Excuse me. I'm moving slow for some reason. Is it because I had my shield out? No. I was just... I need to kill the big ones. Ah, oh, jeez. I need to kill non-small spiders. Thank you. I hate this area. Oh, I hate this character. Hello. I see you over there. Just money. Cool. Please dodge. You know what? Oh, I... There we go. Anything here? I'm liking the bramble, though. This, like, walking through enemies just to damage them. I like it, because I do it a lot. All right, what's over here? Um... A melee companion. Ooh! A little familiar here. I've had one of these before. I had the one that shoots, but this one now uses blades instead. That seems good. I mean, look, any source of extra damage is welcome. All right, what does this do? Exploding force surrounds the Bergson damaging enemies. Sure. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's a good obelisk effect. Now just let me in. I should have opened this first. Please. Gotta get to the big dude. Come on. I gotta get the big spiders. Oh, come on. It's like a... Jeez. Look at this. Look at this. I can't get out of this black hole. 
Please. I hate these spiders. I hate this character. I'm at 20 health. Oh, health. Thank you. I know there's an almost that gives me full health, by the way. Can I find that? Please? Okay, that's a boss door. Really, I'm already at the boss door. I've kind of gone through this fast. Health? Just gold. Well, I guess I'll die. Unless that obelisk is a full health obelisk. Oh, a random potion. That actually might help. Also, I believe you guys can give um health. Time to start breaking, breaking pots, boys. Health? Please. That's... I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna play like a little baby. I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a thing like the obelisks. Oh, great. Now, how am I gonna get to you? You're standing right in the middle of spikes. Oh, great. And there's like... Okay. Please. Could you not stand in the middle of spikes? I'm just asking. Okay, go. My companion. Okay. They're not as bad when they're all by themselves. It's only when they're with like a million goose monster things. Oh, take him out. Oh, my companion. Health. Oh, thank you. Obelisk of Fortune. I forgot what you do, but I think you make it... Make me get more money? What does this do? In the distance, a chuckle echoed Excuse as another me. approached his table. Pong of the... Go I'm playing Pong. W excuse me? Hey, excuse me, I'm playing Pong here. I had to hit it down there? Okay. I didn't realize this game had Pong in it. So am I supposed to hit it at the thing? Because that's what it seems like I got to try to do. Okay. That was extremely unexpected. Increased? I have this, dude. I don't want this. Oh, all that work for nothing. There's nothing over here, is there? No. Well, at least it didn't cost me health. Yeah, like that was pretty much a waste of my time. I mean, that's like a pretty nice event. I love these rooms that are just like, ah, here's a random thing. Ooh, gemstone. Mind giving me a shop then? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Oh, come on. You hit me? Come on. The generous mushroom was vital to any concoction with the purpose of healing. While naturally poisonous, any skilled brewmaker could extract the important properties without danger. Excuse me, I thought you were going to talk longer. I was trying to hydrate myself with some lovely tea here. So I assume that's for our little wolf friend. I wonder what happens when we heal the wolf guy. Will he be like, oh, you have now a little pet who will fight at your side or something. Anything? Nothing? Alright. We receive more experience for a limited time. Well, I mean, like, thank you, but we're gonna go die here in the boss. Oh, jeez. Alright, there's nothing else we can do here. Alright, time to die. Unless there's a merchant here. Oh, it's a merchant. The shopkeep said he would like to offer a discount for his rescue, but there have not been many customers lately. Gee, I wonder why. You got any potions here, bud? Any free stuff? You got some wing wangs for me. Thanks. Come on, you always have a lot of pots. Your pots always have stuff in them, but like, I'd rather have, besides money, a health potion? Seems like you have one too. Oh, I knew you could do it. All right, what you got? Can't afford that. Flames orbit you damaging enemies. That seems insanely good. Call for the sword. He sets cooldowns. Did you just cough at me? Return to maximum health at the start of a new floor. 
cost one. I would love this if I had another gem. All right, time to die to our spider friend. Because I am... Hold on. Do I have skills? Skill points. I have one. And I need two to level up anything. Well. More health potions? Wait, does he just like... Oh, I thought it was a health potion. I saw my little buddy and I thought it was a health potion. Also, it seems like he just breaks pots whenever he walks into them. I'm assuming that's because of the passive. All eight eyes. Yeah, yeah, we've been here a million times, so my dude. Willing to walk into he's got his weird pulsating pool. butt. Oh, this is going to be even harder to do now because he's like right up there. Please. How did I take damage? Please. I've already taken so much damage. Don't move. Oh, you suck. So much. Come on. Ah, oh, please. Come on. All right. Do your little thing so I can whack you a bit. All right, I'm learning how to fight this guy too. Come on. Ha ha! Yeah, how's that? All right, pop up. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You don't like that. Oh, come on. I was like mid dodge. Can't see anything. I gotta kill you first. Come on. I don't know if my block, if I'm blocking when I block, if it's doing less damage or if it's even blocking damage at all. I might be able to do it here. Okay, never mind. I'm panicking now. I'm panicking. I'm panicking bad, dude. I did it! Anguish as death slowly beckons to bestow its peace. I did it with this guy. Third time is a charm. I love it. I didn't even use Linda. I used the character I hate. Give me all this money. What did I even get? A manuscript or something. I don't know where that would be. Well, what's down here? Another the floor? The could go no further. The path blocked. The life crystal, as if filled to the brim with life. Started to pulse. We going home? The way had opened. Hey. A step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. Though before taking that step, caution dictated a return to home. Yes, to thank you. The family of the newfound passage. All right. Isn't there like a usually? Yeah, there was a summary. Found a generous mushroom and found a manuscript of precision. No idea what a manuscript of precision is going to do. Okay, you could stop pacing any day now. Oh, hello, Uncle Ben. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Wait, what daggers? Is our Margaret, in her wisdom what knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin's Kevin missing? Forever. Now she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry. Find him. Well, it seems like Kevin's missing. I was in the middle of one run that I didn't upload that didn't go up because I lost my power mid-upload, so maybe that screwed the story a bit. So that's why Kevin's gone and we don't know he's gone. Maybe when my power went out, it was like, yeah, you lost your power, so that counts as a loss? Is that Kevin? No, that Kevin doesn't look like Kevin. Oh, that is Kevin. With barely a scratch. Yet, he found no appreciation from his family, especially his father. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. Can I his play as Kevin now? 
asking how he could be so inconsiderate. Come on, he has he knives. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle, and his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage with caution. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right, so character unlocked? Uncle Ben, do you have Perhaps to be drinking Uncle at ben this? Was the happiest of them all. Sure. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Now, I'm not really one for melee, like I said, but I do like dagger characters. I like the thief character. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Dyer. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the lost trenches. Okay, so we're going to Anaya Dias, which we, what you said? Sure. Precision upgrade is now unlocked. Hold on, hold on. Kevin's now available in character selection. He has learned the ways of the assassin. Ooh. Where is this? Oh, that's what those things do. So now I have this to increase. All right, all right, that's good. Um, yeah, I'll spend some gold on that. And uh, just raw damage as well. Seems good. Why is it? Hey. The past think holds here? both the joy and the bitterness of time. Sheila could help them, as John said, but Ben would not bring himself to overlook the sting of their past relationship. So is Sheila, if I remember right, Sheila is the wife or ex-wife? Kevin's just out here like doing his dagger dance. I'm going to practice every day. Yeah, you do that, Kevin. What's this? Anything else? Anyone else around here doing anything? Hang out with the woodland creatures or whatever? No? What do you say? She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. Anyone else got anything else to say, or are you all good? Can we play as Grandma Margaret eventually? There are a lot of characters. There are more characters. Well, maybe not. Maybe we will play as Grandma Margaret. Anyway, though, uh, that's going to be it for today's episode of Children of Morna. Uh, it seems we unlocked a new character. So in the next episode, we're going to play as Kevin and try out his assassin stuff. He probably has a, like, maybe he has, like, three dodge rolls. He's probably a melee character, because, you know, he has daggers. Don't know how much I'll want to, like, play as him, because, mm, melee class. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it, like I said. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, we finally beat the spider. Only took, like, three tries. And using a shield, which might honestly be a little overpowered. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you guys want to keep up with the series, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to catch more of me, you can go and check me out on Twitch TV. 
Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching uh, this episode. And until I see you guys in the next video, um, bye.